I'd seen um, some of Team 4's work in um, Architectural Design magazine and thought it was really interesting. <clears throat> so I wrote to them and asked if they had a position. And um, it was a long time afterwards, maybe a couple of months, I got a letter back. So I got to the office in the Hampstead Hill Gardens and um, there was nobody there at all. It was in the evening, there was nobody there. So I had a look at some of the drawings and things in there and eventually Richard turned up and um, had a look at my portfolio and uh, said, fine, can you start next week? And then we went down to the pub. It was the shortest interview I've ever had. <coughs> it was um, really quite extraordinary, actually. Creek Ream was turned out to be pretty important, certainly for me, for Richard, and maybe for Norman too. It was really um, a project that sort of slightly changed the direction, the way the office actually designed things and built them really. And um, we were about to start on site when Norman had an inspiration. And he came into the office uh, about three, four days before I was going down to site to start and he said, I don't know whether you remember the plan of Creek Green. It's um, on the, it's two blocks. One is slightly at an angle to the other one. Now initially all the planning drawings were done with the two blocks were absolutely rectangular or square. And Norman decided that it'd be much better if they were fan shaped looking over the, the, um, the river, you get a much better feeling for the site. And Richard agreed. So um, Richard said, OK, um, can you get some drawings out by Monday? Because we're going down to site at the weekend to start on site. So um, all my carefully worked out working drawings were put aside and all I had time to do was a foundation drawing. I went down to site with Richard with this foundation drawing and Richard said look can you get the building set out I'm going sailing with Marcus so if you can get it pegged out by the time I come back this evening that'd be good. Don't worry he said we'll sort it and we did. I got it all laid and of course the site was um, maybe a 45 degree slope so setting out a building with a vanishing point about a kilometre away wasn't the easiest thing to set out but uh, the contractor managed it and um, you know life went on from there. That was my first, um, if you like, that was the first time Norman really had a major design input on any project I was working on. And I have to admit, he was right. <laughs> it was the right decision. So it was an extremely difficult job to, to do with such precision that they wanted. And I think in the end, it was, uh, it really was the last of the traditional built buildings really. I think at the time we were doing Reliance Controls and Reliance Controls again, probably the most important building for both our practices possibly because of the way it was constructed. And in a sense, it led the way for the way we tended to build buildings for the next few decades. And I think it was really the difficulties, however um, sympathetic the contractor was, and the contractor was extremely good to actually get the level of precision we were looking for was just almost impossible. I suppose, I know Norman's had some interesting projects with his cars, well, I've had projects not as interesting as Norman's, but I've always had um, a project sort of, you know, as well as the building I've been 
designing or building cars or, you know, got involved pretty heavily with cars. I found in the end the similarities between build, it's really, it was almost simply a different project number. One, you do an office block, next time you do a car. The similarities are so, there's so many similarities. You have to have a, a concept in mind and um, work towards that, but taking account of all the, um, the contributions all the different specialists can make. And in a sense, I found the car was exactly the same as a building in the end. It really was no different. And I have to admit, it's something I learned at Team 4. I, before Team 4, I had no, really very little constructional experience. You know, design, yes, concept work, yes, but not really going into depth of how the build is put together. And although it was a, you know, there were fairly small buildings, the process is the same. And it's a guess, case of gaining confidence, I think. And um, I, there's no question to my mind, I put that down to my experiences at Team 4 without any question.